Okay, let's talk about the last part of this video, which is going to be your Counter-Strike Global Offensive settings. Well, the ones I use, and I'm going to show you the performance that I get. Um, so first thing you want to do is right-click on your uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, go to Properties, click on Local Files, Browse Local Files, and then um, go to your uh, CFG folder. And you look down, then there'll be video.txt. When you open a video, you'll get this right here. I know, I'm going to put that over there. And this is all the video settings in the game. Now, I have um, a copy paste from a, a forum. I forget what forum it was on. Um, and this guy explained what everything was. So I just have this on my desktop as video info.txt. And, uh, so whenever I want to change something, uh, I know what uh, a value will change uh, in game. And uh, right now, I have CPU level, which is the effects on high, GPU level, which is the shaders on very high, anti-aliasing on 8x. I got uh, anastrophic filtering on 16, no V-sync, no triple buffering. Grain scale override one, and it says it's supposed to get rid of some sort of a, a grain effect on the screen. Um, GPU mem level um, is model detail and texture details. I have that on the highest setting too. Um, mem level, uh, I forget what mem level actually does, but I have that on two, and there's a reason. I'll show uh, when I show in the in-game options when everything. Mat Q mode. Um, that's multi-core rendering. I have that forced on two. So it'll do uh, two different threads, essentially. Is there, oh, it kind of uses all four of your cores if you have four. Um, I have shadows on three for the highest. No uh, FXAA, no motion blur, full screens on. I do 1440 by 1080. And because I'm in that, I put it on zero aspect ratio mode for four by three. And I don't use border, uh, borderless windowed mode. So, and that's my uh, video options. And um, to add to that, I right click on it and I make it read only. And the reason I do that is because a while ago I noticed how come every time I start up the game, my video options change and I never change them or they default. Or maybe the resolution doesn't go to the default because the default's really small and I would notice that. And maybe some of them just don't stick after an update or after I restart my computer or whatever. So I change it in here, make it read only, and it sticks. I'm always using the highest graphic settings. And along with that, because I use a, um, a, 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 a AMD graphics card, I uh, use Radeon Pro and I have my own profile which uh, links to um, the csgo.exe in my uh, Steam apps folder. And for the most part, anti-aliasing is on use application settings, anti-aliasing filters on box, multi-sample mode. I uh, let the application control anastrophic filtering because sometimes forcing the texture filtering can be slower than letting the game do it itself. There is no tessellation, so I've done on force off, no vsync, and in uh, advanced, no optimization settings, no anastrophic, no trilinear, no surface format optimization, texture filtering quality is on high quality, mid pops on high quality, texture level of details on negative three, th so things look really sharp. My flip queue, which is the same as the maximum pre-rendered frames on NVIDIA, I have that on zero, and that's, so the CPU is just giving the GPU exactly what the next immediate frame will be so that there's no buffer and there's nothing in tweaks that you need to do and i already talked about process lasso that i use and i set that up so um uh everything is optimized for counter strike and i just close all that stuff close that and the next thing i'm going to show is um using a digital camera instead of a, um, a game capture, but I'll also capture the game at the same time as I'm recording it. Um, I'll show you um, some gameplay. I'll do a, a casual match. 
Next thing I want to talk about after video TXT is the auto exec. Wait, I want to open it in Notepad++. It looks better. Okay, so the auto exec really doesn't have that much uh, bearing on how your uh, frame rate will be in the game. It'll, but there's so much that's SV cheats protected, and even that stuff really won't even do much. People say change R dynamic to zero, which gets rid of dynamic lighting caused by fire and muzzle flashes. Sometimes people say that that improves their performance, maybe. Um, same with draw tracers first person. People say they make that zero. Um, I have Mac Q mode in here. Um, it's just because I got from another auto exec, but I know it's overwritten by um, what's in the video text file. I put my FPS max, and the explanation's right here, 605 which is five times 121. And that's because I use uh, 120 Hertz light boost mode. When I'm in the menu, I limit it to 121 exactly, which you know is one Hertz or one frame higher than my refresh rate. Everything else, not really that much different here. I do change my um, headphone settings and that's another video for another time. I've gotten to a couple arguments about if these settings are correct or not, but they are for me. And what they basically do is it'll put, um, the game has, um, here, let me open up uh, paint so I could explain this a little bit. So the game uses like a, um, a virtual, you know, speaker system. It's got you, you're in the center and by default, in headphone mode, it'll put um, it'll put a speaker here, and you know, that's that's not really a good speaker, and you know a speaker here. And uh, what my thing does is it'll take that and put one up here, up here, up here, and up here, and you're going to be in the middle. And these are virtual speaker positions because the game does its own uh, mixing of where things are in uh, relation to, you know, your avatar in game. And it's able to adjust volume and panning in order to simulate distance and direction. And with these settings, I'm able to hear people behind me, what direction behind me and in front of me, what direction in front of me pretty accurately. Uh, what else do I change here that's interesting? Really nothing else. Uh, maybe the only helpful thing here is I have a, a bind for uh, voice volume changing and uh, changing the game volume. If I'm in a clutch situation, I mute people or and I put up the volume. Don't really have much else here. But this really has no bearing on your FPS. The only thing that will is your video settings and your external video settings using something like Radeon Pro or NVIDIA Inspector, which it's a shame I can't show you because I know how to use that also. And that, that's a really helpful program to be using if you're an NVIDIA um, graphics card owner. Okay, now I'm gonna show my FPS. Now bear in mind, this is while I'm uh, recording with OBS in really high quality settings. So I'll do a casual active duty. Okay, we'll do cobble, I guess. See how well that goes. Cobble's known for being laggy for some people, not really me. It's casual. Um, 200, 300, 300, 300, 300 like yeah. 350. Bang. 
Why you gotta be so salty? Laying down smoke. I changed my sensitivity. That's better. That's how I like it. Cobblestone is during the dream hacks uh, competitive thing. You people. Nice. Ah, my sound got all screwed up. What the hell? That was weird. Hopefully everything's okay in the recording. That's the way we do it. Whoa, well, that's weird. What the hell? Nice. But yeah, I mean, it's not that bad with it like this. Mute it. That's a lot better. I don't know why it was starting to do that. That happens sometimes, though. And I play perfectly fine with this FPS right here. I mean, I think you've seen a good mix, so... Next thing I want to do is um, show what happens if uh, I change this. So here's how I would usually change it. I want to change a video setting. Make it turn off the read only. Edit. And then I take out my reference document that I showed you, video info. And let's put everything on low. Let's see what that does, okay? Because I bet you're curious. Like, oh man, you could be running at everything on low and pretty sure your FPS would get better. So let's see how much better. Now leave it on the same resolution. So then control S, save it, go back to it, make it read only. Then I will start up the game. Now I'm running everything on low. Ah, one. No, not eleven. <laughs> Sorry. Let's roll. So it's the same FPS max going on. Now everything's on low. Girls don't like boys, girls there like we go. cars and money. Muted. Top mid. Boom.
right there. Damn. That would have been funny. But it's really that that much um, better or different, the FPS. I know I'm not on the same map or anything, but put your settings up all the way. This is completely playable, but it doesn't look as good. But yeah, 